Well, during the time of Back to the World, what was happening at Warner Brothers was a whole transition. Like they were getting rid of everyone that worked on the I'm Ready and the Tevin album and replacing them. And they were putting their concentration towards pop music. The focus was not on um, R&B anymore. And I was one of the few R&B artists that, were, that was there at the time, my age. So Mo Austin, Hank Spann, Ray Harris, all those people left. They were replaced. And those were the people that were responsible for the success of Tevin and I'm Ready. So when they changed that, it was just as if every, all the focus went elsewhere. And you know, the business is it's all politics. Music, the music industry is politics. It's very political. People don't really realize that, but everything you hear on the radio, it's all political. There's a list. DJs are not able to play whatever they want to play, you know, but the, the business is exactly the same. So I can tell you that that was going on. But I also think that the music itself uh, was changing at the time. R&B was changing at that time. It wasn't about the I'm ready and the can we talks. It was changing. R&B was changing. It was, it was becoming hip hop R&B almost, I think. That was when that sort of emerged. But there was a lot going on behind the scenes at Warner Brothers. And I, he I hear a lot of people saying, you know, why did Tevin Campbell stop, you know, making music? What happened? But, you know, a lot of people are on the outside looking in. But there's a lot going on at Warner Brothers.